Well, we have the most perfect day for you. A warm hello in every sense of the word. The sun is out and football has a special place on this most idyllic of days. A fixture ahead of us to which we've all been looking forward for so very, very long. And it means so very, very much. The scene could not be more beautiful. The pitch looks terrific. The players are ready to get started, and we cannot wait for the contest that lies ahead. One glance, and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. If you're just joining us, we are already underway. Well, someone I'm really looking forward to seeing is one of a kind. El Diego. Uh, the word legend is badly overused in our world, Peter, but he qualifies with room to spare. An absolute genius. Yeah, just watching the guy play is a thrill. He's so different, just brilliantly different. Can beat teams pretty much on his own. Koke goes looking. And he's there to cut it out. A slightly better ball would have led to a very different outcome there. Jamaica just had to make the ball stick, but came up short. Davis battles to win it back. Uh, needed a better pass there. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Now it's Lewandowski. Oh, shoots! Simplicity itself. Lewandowski is the obvious danger man here, and yet he was afforded way too much freedom. I think he was gifted that goal. His reputation should have been warning enough for them. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Listen, when it comes to goals, Peter, in this team, he's always the number one contender, and he's done it again. Del Piero looking to get on the end of this. Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. Deftly done. Going through. And the ball is out of play. Tries to get it forward quickly. Kilo cuts it out. Alexander Arnold. Uh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Sancho takes control of it and he's on the move. Sancho tore at them and just came up short. Well, he was thinking about headlines, I'm sure, but he ought to focus more on, on breaking lines. Iniesta. A nice touch. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. Did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. Some good play on the left-hand side now to profit from it. It'll be a throw-in. Iniesta. Iniesta goes up and over. Sancho. And he's cut it out. Oh, and with that, the half-time whistle goes. And there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It was very, very tight.
Well, that certainly pleased the fans, and the players are definitely happy with that scoreline. The question is now, can they protect it? Leading a cagey game here. It's had its moments, and it's 1-0 at the break. Already up and running for the second half. Well, 1-0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Probably be looking to play it square from here. There's not much doubt that this will be played into the penalty area. That was travelling. Sergio Ramos kicks it up from the goal kick. Out for a throw. Intercepts the throw. That's well read. And it's played forward. Forward it goes. That's alert and sharp and very well played. Nicely worked. Mbappe! Oh, that was no routine save. Well, as Tesco beat it, the keeper has just received an A-plus grade. Del Piero hits it! He scored! A two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe! That's wonderfully done. Chris Pitt, true finish. Well, just thinking back to the goal again, Peter, when you catch him that well, you know it's destined, and that was struck with real purity. So the lead now is two. Well, at 1-0, this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way, and that losing feeling the other. Dinks one in. Mbappe, well, he was given the time and room initially to hold on to the ball, but eventually he was squeezed that bit harder and the task became too much. I think he's got to be a little quicker in his distribution then and, and get others into the match. He's got through. Neymar. Neymar is flag offside. There's going to be another change here. And it's Neymar. Good idea, just poorly executed. Sancho. Maradona. Who's ball? Who's going to get that? Koke. Sergio Ramos goes long. Hoists it forward. Time and again, they are repelled. Del Piero with a long pass. Well, needless to say, he was expecting a better ball than that. Ronaldo provides an outlet. Great leap! This could fall anywhere. Forward it goes. Well, he's made sure that that won't get through. Sergio Ramos floats one over. Kovacic drives it forward. Del Piero finds himself offside. There is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. So we have a double substitution going on here. And it's Mane. 
And the referee brings it to a close. And the manager heads down the tunnel, swathed in satisfaction. And his team have carried out his instructions to the word, and they have got their win. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? There's a solidity about them, almost as if they set up not to lose and see how things unfold. That is the pressure on the strikers, who can afford to be patient, and it's all paid off. I think we're just about out of time, so many thanks to Jim, and a very good afternoon to you.